Hello also, if you remember, in the last video we made a start on creating this title page here and we got our name and our student ID in a separate box. Now actually what I'm just going to do here is I think it would be quite nice to put a line separating the name and the student ID text, then it'll give the students opportunity to write it in this space over here. Okay, so not strictly speaking necessary, but just for aesthetics I think this will look nice. Okay, so the way which I'm going to do this is by coming up here to the first T color box. Okay, so you see here where I've got begin T color box uh, around my first detail. Okay, I'm just going to carry on a few parameters. I'm just going to put a comma. Okay, and the first parameter I'm just going to put is just an enhanced jigsaw. And again, you know, you can fiddle around with these different parameters to see what they do. Okay, and get it customized exactly how you want it to look. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is actually just create a box rule. OK, and the box rule in this case is just going to be two points. I think that would look fine. And I'm also going to segment the box up. OK, so put it into segments. So I'm going to put segmentation style, segmentation style. And I'm just going to define a few parameters here. So I'm going to put this in curly brackets. OK, uh, first thing, I want it to be solid. OK, so you can either have it solid or dotted or whatever you want. OK, I want it to be black. And I'm also going to define the line width. So I'm going to do find the line width to be two points. OK, so oops, line width, so it needs to have a space in there. OK, and I'm also going to do it as side by side, but that's going to go outside my segmentation style. So I'm going to carry on the parameters outside my segmentation style uh, by just putting a comma and it's going to be called side by side. So basically the segmentation will happen side by side. Now, if I recompile, let's see what we get. OK, so we get a segment down the middle. Now, by default, LaTeX will just put this straight down the middle. What happens if I want to move this over? So you can see that basically it's a little bit too far uh, over. I've got all this empty space. So all I need to do is just come back up here to where I've got my parameters, carry on after side by side, put a comma, and I just need to tell LaTeX what the left hand width is going to be. Now, I'm going to do it from the left hand width. You could, of course, do this the right hand width as well. Uh, and of course, it's just about playing around. I think four centimeters would look fine. I could have also put four millimeters there. Now, if I recompile, this line should move over here to the left, which it does do. And I think that looks quite nice. Now, actually, just because I can't be bothered to type all that out again, I'm just going to copy and paste all of those parameters down here for my second uh, uh, T color box where I've got my student ID. Now, if I click recompile, these two uh, these two boxes should have a segmentation down the middle, so which allows students to put their name down here like that. Okay, cool. I think that looks quite nice. Okay, so what else could I do here? So I'm actually just going to end my TCV raster because I've kind of finished the name and the student ID. What else could I do? Well, I think what would be quite nice now is to have another box underneath which would have things like the, ex the exam name, the amount of time which is expected in the exam, uh, and also the exam date. So actually, just before I make a start on that, I'm going to come right to the very top, and I'm going to have all of those details up here, so it's really quick and easy to change. All right, so let's come up here. I'm just going to put new command. OK, and I guess, first of all, I want to create a command that corresponds to the exam time. OK, so the amount of time which the students would get for the exam. So I don't know, let's suppose this exam is going to be two hours in length. OK, I'm also going to create another another command, which will be exam date. And let's suppose the exam date will take place on the 1st of October 2020. So I'm going to go first uh, and then I'm going to go text superscript, text superscript. Uh, and then I'm going to go uh, first. So ST, put them in brackets, uh, of October 2020 and close those brackets there. OK, so now if I come back here, I basically now got exam time and exam date stored as a command, which means I only have to change it once up here. All right, so let's come down to our T color boxes. So this is the uh, this is the end of the T color box up here. So underneath, I'm actually just going to put a little bit of space between where I finish off the student ID box and where this new box is going to go. So I'm just going to go V space and I always put a star with V space. And I don't know, I'm going to go V space. Um, let's try, let's try 10 millimeters. I think that'll work. OK, let's try 10 millimeters. All right, fine. Now, what I'm actually going to do here is not just put one T color box in here. I'm actually going to have one T color box that's got all the details in of the exam, and another T color box which has like the total amount of marks or the amount of marks which the, uh, the paper is out of over here. So I'm going to do that by creating a mini page. So I'm going to go begin, mini page. 
and I'm going to create a mini page. The first box I want to be a sizable width. So I'm going to make it about 70% of the text width. So I'm going to go 0.7 of the text width. Okay. And then I also need to end the mini page as well. And basically what this will mean is that this T color box will not last the full width of the page. It will only last 70% of, of the text width. And it will also allow me to put another T color box next to it as well. Okay, but we'll get to that. So, okay, let's actually start by just creating another TCB raster because of course I need to put another T color box within the bigger T color box that I've already got. So I go begin, TCB raster. And of course I need to also end that as well. So end TCB raster. Okay, so what parameters do I want for this TCB raster then? Um, well, obviously, I just want to put the uh, raster columns to be one again. Okay, so raster columns, need to have a space, equals one. Uh, I also need to have the raster column skip again. So the raster column skip, I'll put this as zero PT. In fact, I think I'll just use the exact same uh, parameters as I used before. So actually, if I just scroll up, I can just copy and paste all of these parameters again, rather than having to type them out all over again. Okay, fine. Now let's actually create a T color box, which will have uh, the details of the exam in. So I'll begin a T color box, like so. I'll just change my parameters. So first things first, I need to do an enhanced jigsaw. And again, you can fill around with what all these parameters do yourself. Uh, enhanced Jigsaw, I want to first of all have two different fonts. Okay, so I'm going to go font upper. And I want that to be bold. Okay, so BF series. Okay, and again, I'm just giving you these parameters. You can fiddle around with what they do yourself, um, but hopefully they're fairly self explanatory. I want the background color to be white. Um, I want the box rule to be two pints. The segmentation style, pretty much the same as before. Uh, so I'm going to go segmentation style needs to be solid. It needs to be black line. And the line width, I'll just do the same as before. I'll keep that as 2PT. Okay, so now I can close everything out. Uh, hopefully that's fine. Oops, I need to put a space in between line width. Do I need to put one in box rule? No, that's fine. Okay, so now I'm in a position where I can actually put stuff in my T color box. So I think the first thing that I'm going to do is my module code. So remember, my module code is the thing up here. So at the moment, it should be foundation. And I want to make that really big. So I'm going to make that huge. So I'll go begin, huge. And I also want to end the huge as well. Okay. And inside that, oops, begin huge. And inside that, I'm going to basically put my module code. So I want that to be bold. Uh, and I'm going to put the module code like so. Okay. And then I want a bit of space between the next thing. Okay, so the next thing I want to put is actually the paper, paper name. So in this case, it's the end of module exam. Okay, so I'll put a little bit of space, a V space, and maybe only two millimeters. Two millimeters, oops, that needs to be in curly brackets, like so. Okay, and then I'll put the next thing. I don't want it to be as big, so I don't want it to be huge, but I'll make it large. Okay, so begin large and end large. Okay, and what's going to go here? Well, I'll make it bold first of all. I want this to be the paper title. Okay, so BF uh, paper title. Like so. Okay, now if I just recompile this, let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. So it should be a nice little uh, box underneath which has got the foundation exam and the end of module exam. So this is the module code, which is here, and that's huge. There's a little bit of space, I'll just put two millimeters, and then I put in large the paper title, okay? And you notice that you can change the sort of sizing and you can change the amount of space between them as well. Now, what I actually wanna do now is something quite fancy. Uh, I want to put next to the paper, paper title, so you can see I've got paper title, end of module exam. I wanna put on the same line, but way out over here, I wanna put the date of the exam. So the way in which I'm going to do that is actually just by going hfill. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the uh, paper title large and I want to make the rest actually quite small. So just for aesthetics. So I only want that to be large. But then on the same line, what I'm going to do is hfill. What they'll basically do is do horizontal fill. So it'll basically fill in as much ver as much horizontal space as it can before it has to put in the name. So that basically means that the name, the sorry, the date. That basically means the date is flushed completely on the right. Okay. So here I'm just going to put it in bold, and I'll just put exam date like so. 
Now if I click recompile, the exam date will appear on exactly the same line, but there'll be space in between them, like so. Okay, and obviously I can change that exam date and the exam title and the, um, the, 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 pay, the module code in the uh, parameters which I've got to find above. Okay, fine. Now what I want to do is actually put a line underneath these two things and then I'll have the time. Okay, so just to show you that I want a separation line before I have the time, the way to do this is T, C, B, lower. Okay, and what that will basically do is just put in a horizontal line which spans the width of this T color box. Okay, and then underneath I'll just put it in large, so begin, large. Okay, and obviously I need to also end large as well. I'm just going to put in bold the exam time, okay? So I'll just put time, colon, space. Uh, do I want to put a little bit more space in? No, that'll be fine. Okay, space, and then I'll just put the exam time, okay? So now if I click recompile, it'll basically have a line underneath, and then it'll have time, and then the amount of time which appears underneath. So there you go. So I think that looks quite nice. And obviously you can play around with the spacing just by using vSpace if you want vertical space in there as well. And you can sort of play around the different sizes of the fonts as well. So that's looking quite good.